Hi everyone, how's it going? Welcome to Quick Learn, and for today's video, I'm gonna show you how to design your Shopify store. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Now, first, I'm gonna need you to go to your computer browser and go to the Shopify website that is www.shopify.com. Now, once you're in your website, or once you're in the Shopify website, just log in into your account. And as you can see, I already have a store set up. And I already designed my store. So let's just create another store right here so I can show you how to design from scratch. So I'm just starting. Now, where would you like to sell? So you can just click on an online store or whatever um, ways you prefer selling so, so just click on next so what do you plan to sell first so just click on products i buy or make myself or some digital products or some services that you can offer or drop shipping products or print on demand products or if you don't have or if you can't decide right now you, you can just click on i'll decide later so for now i'll just click on the products i buy or make myself so i'm just going to click on next so just name your store so i'm just going to name my store Brood Blessings PH, that is my co online coffee business that I'm currently at. So I'm just going to click on next right here. So where will your business be located? So just select the country or region that you're currently in. So I'm residing in the Philippines right now, so I'm just going to click on Philippines, of course, uh, and click on next. And now just log in into your email. So Shopify redirects me to my Shopify account. So now they're currently building my store, so it will just take a moment or a minute or two. So as you can see right here, Shopify has already created my store. So right now I'm on free trial, so your trial ends on April 23, so just um, don't mind that one. So once you're in the Shopify web page, just click, just go, or just um, go to sales channels, and under sales channels, just click on online store. So we will be setting up our online store or designing our online store right here. So as you can see right now, this is where we will be designing or editing our online store. So as you can see, the current theme that Shopify is using, and this is the default theme, is done. So just scroll down a little bit and just um, you, you can use any themes that Shopify offers. Right here, you can use Dawn, you can use Refresh, Craft, Sense Theme, or Ride. Or you can just go visit the theme store and explore more than over 80 free and paid professionally designed themes. So for now, I'm just going to use the Dawn theme and just click on Customize. So once you click on Customize, this is where we'll be editing our theme. So as you can see right here, you can just go to the page that you want to edit. You can edit the home page, the products page, the collections page, the collections list page, the pages, the blogs, the blog posts, the cart, the checkout, and etc. etc. Now, for this video, I'm just gonna um, edit the home page right here. And as you can see, this is the header. So just click on header right here. So this is the announcement bar that says, Welcome to our store. And if you want to do to delete or edit that one, you can just go to text right here and um, just enter an announcement that anything you have in mind. So I'm just gonna um, leave it at leave it leave it at it as it is. And now um, next, let's go to header. So the header right here is where you can browse or you where your customers can go so they can go to the home page the catalog page the contacts or they can search a product or they can add to the cart so right here I'm just gonna leave it as it is or if you want to you can change the main menu right here you can remove the menu or, or change the menu so for now I'm just gonna leave the menu as, as it is and sticky header you can 
you can delete the stick header by clicking on none or you can select on scroll up or you can put the sticky header always or you can put the sticky header always but in reduced logo size so right now this you can select this the, the color scheme so I'm just gonna choose XM1 so that's perfect right there or you can enable country or region selector or you can just enable language selector right here and the mobile layout position you can just um, choose between sensor and left so I'm just gonna put sensor as it is and now let's head on to image banner so right here on the image banner you can upload your image or you can select um, a free image from Shopify so I have an image in mind so I'm just gonna click on image banner right here and I'm gonna select image right here this is the first image and mind you you can upload two images at the same time so for now I'm just gonna select one image I'm gonna click on upload image and I'm gonna use this image right here and click on open so Shopify is uploading and I'm gonna click on done so as you can see my image has already been uploaded to my image banner so once you've done that just let's go to to featured collections now under featured collections this is where all your products are visible so you can just um, put the heading like that you can change the future products and you can just let me just um, input coffees and the heading size you can select small heading size a medium or a large and description should be uh, let's just say I'm gonna say um blessing you with every brew like that S and and you can just click on show collection description from the admin or you cannot show just simple as that and this and the description you can change it to body to subtitle or to uppercase so I'm just gonna put subtitle right here now the collection you can change this all you can change collection and you can remove collection right here and the view all style you can s select a link or an outline button or a solid button or you can enable carousel on desktop or you cannot enable it it's up to you and the color scheme you can change it to background one so let's make it a uniform right here I want an accent one on my color scheme so like that and the mobile layout you can change from um, one column or from two columns so I'm just gonna leave it as it is from two columns and you can enable swipe on mobile or you cannot enable swipe on, um, on mobile so it's up to you and lastly the footer you can just click on footer right here now the footer is very simple you can add an email address for your customers to subscribe to your emails or for your customers to contact you via your email so right here um, let's change the color scheme again to accent one like that and you can show email sign up or you can just leave it as it is like that so we, so you can add a follow on shop button you can add a social media accounts button I mean social media icons you can add or enable country region selector or you can enable language selector and you can select or show payment methods now you can um, show policy link policy links but I prefer not to and you can just um, edit the spacing in between right here like that and now once you've done that let's go to the products page so the products page um, you can create your products right here so once you create your products it will be displayed right here and on the collection page you can create a template and make a display out of your collections right here for your customers to buy so once you're done you are now ready to go just click on save right here 
so I guess that's it and um, I basically covered um, how to design your home page and everything and all so if you're done just click on say right here and you can publish your page for your customers to see and you can now start selling your products so that's it for this video everyone and if you find this helpful be sure to give it a like subscribe and click on that notification bell to be notified for future videos bye